Saugus TV Sports presents. Game of the Week. Today, for the Sagers, number 13, Cam Sirocco. Leading off of the Generals. Welcome, everyone. Good evening, number ladies two, and gentlemen. Welcome William to Sagers Varsity Baseball. First game of the season, the home opener between the Saga Sagers and the visiting Hamilton Wenham Generals. Cam Sirocco on the mound for the Sachems. Fouls it off and we're on our way this afternoon. William Cook leads it off for the Generals. Here's the old one pitch. One ball, one strike. As we open up the 2022 campaign here for baseball, here at World Series. Grounded, Anderson will play it, and Anderson will get the first out. Great play there by Ryan Anderson. First out. Number three, Connor McClintock. Here comes Connor McClintock. Clintaw is the batter now for the Generals. <laughs> Here 
If you can hear that voice in the background, that's Anthony Michella. We're doing a two camera duty here. For the games that me and Anthony do together here at World Series. That is down for a base hit into center field. McIntosh is at first base with a single. And that's the first hit for the Generals. Catcher, number 31, Nick Frenny. Here comes Nick Frenny, the catcher. Here's the pitch. High pop up. Makes the catch. That was Drew Gardner in right field. He changed his number to 22 this year. His football number. Drew's in right. First baseman, number 17, Brian Ganelli. It comes Brian Gramelli. Pitch over the first, stays safe at first base. Runner at first, one man out. Top of the first, no score. Pitch over the first base again, Ryan Anderson, and runner stays safe there. Here's the pitch. Ball one, one and one and oh. Soroko's ready. Here's the pitch. Ball pops away from him. And the runner advances a second. On a wild pitch. Two and all to count. Infield is ready. He is a pitch. That's a strike called. Two balls and one strike. Here's a pitch. Three balls and one strike. That one was a little down low. Here's the pitch. Lines. That stays foul. Full count, three balls and two strikes. That foul ball went into the right field line, just ran over the right side of the line. Drew Gardner was running that one down. But it is a full count. Runner goes back to second. This season, there'll be a little bit of a different in announcing this year. I might actually have a guest for select games this season. But I probably word that. Oh, the ball went away from him into the L field. That'll stop the runner at third. A little miscue there. Still full count. I say that was an infield error. <laughs> A 
Blind foul. Couldn't tell where that ball went. <laughs> I hope not. I hope it doesn't come in over here. <laughs> They're gonna be foul ball away or flying balls. <laughs> Still full count and Dallas shot a foul. The last pitch is the next one. That one is ball four. Third base, number 27, Harrison Stern. Here comes Harrison Stern. Quite an easy name there. Here's the pitch. Inside. A little bit to the left of the zone for ball one. As Stern had to go back a little bit on the last pitch. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. The pitch. Up high, the throw. He's safe the second. Second and third. One ball and one, uh, two balls and one strike. My correction on that, but the count. Now to Harrison Stern. Ooh, that was close. Ball three. Here's a pitch, fouls it up, and that's gonna land into the playground. Behind home plate, way behind home plate. Went over the house and into the playground. <laughs> a couple of them might go in the parking lot. Swing and a miss. He just watched that one go by him for a strike three. He didn't swing at that. That ends the inning. Well, we're headed to the bomb after the first. The Seatrums are coming up. Two up. Anthony McConey's camps are... Cam Sirocco and Michael Howard. On the mound for Hamilton, one of them. Number one, Kate Fitzgibbons. Leading off for the Sagems is their shortstop, number 11, Anthony McConey. Welcome back here to World Series as we're back from break to start the bomb of the first. Anthony McConey will lead off as the primary leadoff hitter for the Sages. The primary leadoff hitter. McConey, which is one of the, the kids that Coach Benna knows from youth basketball and from freshman basketball back in the day. Keith Manning knows six players on this team, including McConey. Two and zero oh to Anthony McConey as he has two balls on him. Hey. 
sway, and he looks at that one for a strike. Wow. Two and one to Anthony McCone. Swing and miss. Swung out of that one. Two and two. No score. Here in the bottom of the first. Ball in the dirt. Swing and a miss. Over the day of the first base for the first out of the inning. Cam Soroko, the batter. Number 13, Cam Soroko. Soroko steps in. First at bat here at World Series as a varsity baseball player. Swing and a miss. That went by him. He didn't swing that one. Just watched it. That one's a ball. One ball, one strike. On deck, it's Michael Howard. Two and one. Cam Sirocco wearing number 13 this year. And he watched that one go down into the zone for a strike. Pitch. Swing and miss. Wow. He just watched that one go by him for a strikeout. The catcher, number five. Michael Howard. Michael Howard, the batter. Strike one. Two down here in the inning. Let's see what Mike can do. Ball two. Here's the pitch to Mike. Michael gets it through for a base hit. Now Howard. He's on a fire start so far. Third base, number 27, Nathan Ng. That's a great setup for Nathan Ng. Let's see what Nathan can do here. Over there, the first, and Howard is safe at first base. Now let's switch the page to Nathan Ng. Up high for ball. The pitch. Ball in the dirt. Howard is going to second. And Joe was thinking about doing a pinch runner and he's going to. Interesting. Center field, number nine, Braden Viella. Here comes Braden, Braden Viella. The pitch, ball one. Nathan Ng is at first. The pitch. That ball hit him. That hit Braden. Bases are loaded. The 
right fielder. Number 22, Drew Gragger. Yeah, <laughs> he, he, he drilled them. <laughs> Here comes Drew. Strike one to Drew Gardner. Swing and a miss. 0 and 2. Here's the pitch to Drew. That one went by for a ball. One ball and two strikes now to Drew. Here's the pitch. Grounded to second. On to first, and that will do it for the first inning. We're on to the second with no score. Welcome back here to the World Series. The left fielder, number nine, Adam Green. Welcome back here to World Series. Adam Green to lead off now for the Generals. Top of the second in World Series. Pitch, ball one. Got some interesting stuff to tell you <laughs> in between pitches. Ball two. Some stuff that <laughs> the Pepitroni said on the PA system in between innings. Ball three. Gotta wait for it in the in between pitches. Strike one. Three balls and one strike. Ground to second, Bernard. The first, the Anderson. There's one out. And we got a special, special thing. Bob Davis is now having Jersey Mike subs. Fire up, Jersey Mike's. That is part of new items this year here at World Series. Ah, glad he's having subs. You'll never leave this place today. <laughs> <laughs> and now, one out. <laughs> Ball one. Strike. I could die. I could die for dressing Mike subs. Oh, did that hit him? It did not. It did not hit him. It sounded like it. Strike two. Ball counts. Ball four. Runner on for the Generals. Tate Fitzgibbons. Tate Fitzgibbons. Fitzgibbons. Tate Fitzgibbons. Strike one. 
What, Fitzgibbons? <laughs> did he get him? No, he did not. Safe first on the tag by Ryan Anderson. Not a tag. He did not get him that time either. Is he still safe? Throw the ball, ran the runner. Come out. <laughs> Swing and a miss. The throw. That's way high. That's a little high there. If you're going to throw it, you got to throw like at, at a right angle that the, the fielder could, could catch it and then tag the base. And not the way I just saw it. <laughs> Ball one. One and two. Looks like, looks like Keith Manning can, couldn't find a pocket spot. Two and two. Two and two. Busy <laughs> guy. Whoa, watch out. That went that went a little way inside there. Runner at third. Not looking not looking good for the Sagents here. Swing and a miss. There is two down. Second base. Clark Goldfield is up at. Galen Clark Goldfeld. Goldfeld. Clark Goldfeld. A spy name. Low mound visit by Joe. Well, let's talk about the spining. It's a spining. <laughs> it's JV. That's. Hey, two outs, guys. With varsity, you hear a lot of noise. In softball. <laughs> Two down, here's a pitch. Pops up foul, and that's into the open field over by the track. I saw that one go. Here's been a Yeah, I was waiting for him all along. In just a minute, I'll uh, do a little questionnaire to Keith Manning. Strike, strike him out there. And they'll end the inning. As stay tuned for a special guest coming up in the bottom of a second. Kind of like alcohol, like ACDC, I love Bon Jovi. There you go. I also love ACDC as well. Number 12, Ryan 
Anderson. Come on, right. That music brought us to Ryan Anderson. I wonder if that's Ryan Anderson's favorite music. I wonder if Bender likes that kind of music. Swing it, and that one goal for strike as Ryan Anderson steps in. This is going to be an exciting day for baseball. Pops it up. Route number one. Anderson pops it out. That is one out. Left field, number 10, Anthony Ciccolini. You know, here comes Anthony Ciccolini. Ball one. We got Keith Manning, Benna. In the house here, World Series. As he's roaming around the stadium. Doing his politics. <laughs> People call him by Benna. Coach Benna. Coach Manning. It's a pitch, Ciccolini. That one is popped up and caught right into the glove for the second out. I thought that ball was going to drop. Designated hitter, number seven, Ryan Maybe. Now let's see what Ryan Maybe can do here. He was big in basketball. Now let's see if he can be big in baseball. We shall see. Strike one to Ryan. Join the deck? Ah! Let's see if he can, let's see if Ryan can be good at baseball. Maybe, or maybe not. One and two to count. Come on, right. You going out? <laughs> oh, it's going to be a fun season. This is going to be a fun baseball season, that's for sure. Swing. Oh, wow. Wow. This pitcher can strike people out. Wow, this has been a quick game so far. We'll, we'll head to the third. That's it for the second. Welcome back here in the World Series Park for the top of the third inning. Oh! 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 Look at that! He does have a jersey mic sign in the center field. <laughs> Get to something, jersey mics. Should be a good place to go. Now, if you don't want to go up to the Route 1 one store, you can come here, get at a baseball game. Here we go, one three, here we go. And now as Cam Sirocco will take the mound for the third. As we're about to get the inning underway here. Oh, it's just a little fun fact that Bobby D has a Jersey Mike sign in center field. Ball one. So generals are back here in the top half of third. Ground it. Short side, McCody. High throw. That one is out. He's out. There's no way he's safe. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, hold it. No, he is safe. I thought he was out. Get guns, Clinton. Clinton. 
Hey, nope. That was a throw over the first. The throw over the first, the throw and take. No, he's still safe. Strike. That's the first strike on him. Oh, one to count. What McConey did? He threw it from shortstop over the first. That was a high throw. He just leaked up. I didn't. I don't think he even touched the bag. I don't think he even touched the bag. And he was quick. Throw over the first. The tag. No. He's still safe. Even though that catch is through it. That kid is quick. Pitch. That's a strike. That's 0-2 to count. He hits a pitch. Inside for a ball. 2-2 two and two to count. Throw with the first attack. He's still safe. Here's the pitch. Full count. Full count. Full count. Here's the pitch. That is high. Andy, that one falls in center field. They'll come home and score, and it's one nothing. Hamilton win them. That was a long double. Here comes Frenny. Here's the pitch. That's a wall. One ball and no strikes. Keith Manning is talking to one of his biggest fans down there. Got a lot of fans. He does. He knows about. He knows at least six. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> He knows that he knows six guys on his team. <laughs> Two balls. The pitch. 
That one is out. And that's a foul ball. That didn't miss by much. That would have made it a 2 nothing game. 3 nothing game with a two-run bomb right there that could have been a 3 nothing game, but that ball is foul. That was at least maybe like a foot off. A foot off. And that, was, that was some power there. Ball four, first and second for the Generals. First baseman, number 17, Ryan Gamelli. Got to watch the runners at first and third. First and second. Got to watch the runner at second and, and watch the runner at first, too. And that's going to be it for Cam Sirocco as Joe Lewis is making a change in pitching. It's going to bring Nathan Ng. Nathan Ng takes the mound. And Joe is going to make a little adjustments with the um, infield. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sean O'Rourke is still pitching. So, so far you got Nathan Ng. Nathan Ng. Ryan maybe. Sean O'Rourke. I think Drew might get a couple innings in for pitching. Drew Gardner. Football kid. I say like a foot or two feet of, like off. Yeah. See how things to do here in the top of the third. <laughs> And Nathan Ng is on the mound. That's right. Got to watch the runner at first and second. Definitely the run runner at second you're going to watch. That's in for a strike, one and one. There is no out there. Mm-hmm. The pitch from Ng. That's in there for a strike. Nathan Ng can pitch. He could pitch. He pitched, he pitched yesterday. Sachin's win 10 0 yesterday. 10 0, they, they got the first win of the season. Now they're 1 0 coming into today. They beat Greater Lawrence and Reggie's. It could have been like a freshman game. Wait, there was a game yesterday? Yeah, I was walking the track and there was a boys game. There you go! Yesterday? Swing and a miss, he got him. Third base. Number 27, Harrison Stern. One out here in the top of the third. They refunded them all. Seconds off. Let's go, Eric. Good. That's a strike. <laughs> the pitch. 
swing and a miss. That is strike two. Pitch from Ng. Swing and a miss, he got him, that's two down. The left field, number nine, Adam Green. Here comes Adam Green. Oh, the old Boston Garden? No, I, I, I wasn't even alive when uh, when it was standing. They tore it down before I was born. Hmm. The pitch. Swing and a miss. 0 oh and 2. Now Nathan Ng is getting close to ending his inning. Nathan Ng can throw heat. Oh, that went away from him. That was Cam Bernard. Cam Bernard, new third baseman for the Sachems. And this is also Bernard's first varsity game here at World Series Park. His first ever game was yesterday. The two freshmen that came up. Sirocco and Bernard are the two freshmen on this baseball team. Grounded foul. Because I did some preseason chatting with the players. Got some of the, the numbers of the main core. I, I didn't get I didn't get that far as Nathan Ng just got him out of the inning. <laughs> we'll head to the bottom of the third. We'll be right back. Welcome back here to World Series Park. Shortstop, number 11, Anthony <laughs> Coney. I'm, I'm joined with uh, Keith Manning. He's all right behind us, if you can hear him in the background. Keith Manning's here for a couple of innings. Hopefully the rest of the way, I hope. Big basketball guy. He also supports baseball. As that ball was a pitch for a ball to Anthony McConey. You can see over us, right? We're not the way out McConey. His pitch, a five for ball. Has two balls and one strike to Anthony McConey. As we're back up to the top of the order here for this eight, swing and a miss. Two and two now on the McConey. The ball is three and two. Like I said earlier, 
Ben and Nose. Anthony McConey from basketball. And five other players. As he got him. He got him. That's out number one. Second base, number 13, Cam Sirocco. Here comes Sirocco. Sirocco, the batter. He pitched the last two and a half innings, and now he's playing the field. Pitch up high for ball. He only let up one pit. He only let up one run in his pitching. And Nathan Ng close it down. Pitch now. Swing and a miss and it's one and two. The pitch. Oh, he got him on that one. He just watched that one. Go buy him. That was like that was like chest high. That was like chest high right in the middle of the strike zone. That's a ball. And now here comes Michael Howard. Howard! High! Pop up! And that's gonna drop for a base hit. Michael Howard. And it's Michael has a hit. That's his second hit of the ball game for Michael. Nathan Ng. What a runner at first. And that pinch runner come, coming out from Michael Howard. It looks like that's going to be the routine. Michael Howard can hit, let him go to the base, and bring out a pinch runner. Ball up high over the head for a ball to Nathan Ng. The pitch to Ng. The ball in the dirt. The pitch to Ng, ball up high, that is ball three. Three balls and nothing for strikes. It's only three balls on him. The pitch to Ng. Ball four. There's that. There's that back flip and goal over the first. Number nine, Braden Viella. And now here comes Braden. He played a couple of games last season. He, See how he does the season. Some of these guys, these guys can hit. They just have to hit at the right time. You just have to swing. You can't watch every single pitch. They have to swing. That's the only way to get on base. That's the only way to score is to hit. And another pinch. Runner as Sean O'Rourke will come out. Put kids on the base, you know? And it looks like they want to save room for Nathan Ng because Nathan Ng is a hitter. I guess they want to put a pinch runner so Nathan Ng doesn't have to deal with all the running. They want to save him for the pitch. Base hit! Just keep on hitting. Just keep hitting. And come out. That ends the inning. 
thought that was a that thought that was a base hit, but with the sun, it, it was tough to see. That ends the inning. That's what heads to the fourth. Still one nothing, Generals. Welcome back here to World Series Park. Nathan Ng for another outing here in this inning. Swing and a miss. When Nathan Ng comes out the pitch. The other team says, keep swinging. Keep swinging. <laughs> Swing at it. Here's the pitch. Oh, that was a near first strike. That was almost a half swing there. Swing and a miss. That went by him. That was absolute heat. Pitcher, number six, T. Fitzgibbon. If when Nathan gets hot, he gets hot. I tell you what, I will never forget April fifth. Happy Tate Fitzgibbon Day. <laughs> Oh, and two hits a pitch. There and there's another one. Another one. Another one. Another one by Nate. Second base. Number 12. Galen Clark Goldfeld. Gold. Clark Goldfeld. This is a spy name. This is a spy name. He's, he has two first names. Two first names. That's a last name. Popped it up. That. That ends it. That ends it right there. Nathan Ng got the job done. Well, that's with the bottom of the fourth. Let's see if the Satan should score here. Every inning should look like that. Take your Saugus TV experience beyond TV. Connect with us and stay up to date through social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Miss the televised meeting or event? Find it and watch it on our Vimeo page. And for everything else, visit our website, saugustv.org. Welcome back here to the World Series Park on a happy Tuesday. Number 12, Ryan Anderson. Here comes Ryan Anderson. Time's up, time to hit. First pitch is the ball. Ryan Anderson. That was Drew Gardner. Gardner number 22, my correction. And he got it. Drew Gardner, the leadoff hitter there. That was Drew Gardner that grounded out there. Now it's Ryan Anderson off the bat. Gardner got uh, ground out. Now here comes Ryan Anderson. Ball one. Ryan Anderson, two sport player. He played basketball back in the winter time, and now he plays baseball. Kind of like a Michael Jordan. 
Did Ryan Anderson pull Michael Jordan? College players. Yeah, no, no other pro player does it. Two and one to count. Now it's two and two. Well, Michael Jordan, he played like a year or two of baseball. He's a better basketball player. Grounded. That one is foul. Ryan Anderson, Ryan Anderson is very close to being a fair ball. He's due to hit. We well, thought the last player was Anderson, but that was Drew Gardner. Whoa! Whoa! At least one error there by Hamilton Wenham. At least one error by them. There we go. The, the Anderson Revenge Tour. The Ryan Anderson Revenge Tour. Strike one. Anderson at first. Let's see if this is the beginning of the revenge tour for Ryan Anderson. If he can do good in basketball, let's see if he can do good in baseball. We got many games coming up for baseball this season. Either of it's us, or you alone, or me alone. We've got many games to go after today. Anderson at first, one and one account, one man out. One nothing generals, Sachems are searching to tie it. Pitch. The throw over the second, he is safe. Anderson with a stolen base. That's a great, great job there by Ryan. The pitch now to Ciccolini. The ball in the dirt. That was very close for Ryan Anderson to go over the third, but he stays the second. The pitch. Rounded to the pitcher. Over there to first, but Anderson goes to third. Anderson's in scoring position at third base. Here's, there's two down here in the bottom of the fourth. The designated hitter, number Ryan seven. maybe the Ryan batter. Maybe. That's it, maybe can do something. And Ryan maybe is one of the guests who is on deck to come on the graph report. I gotta put that on the calendar. Graph report 19. See if I'll find out from Ryan maybe today, see if that'll work. But we're aiming towards the 19th. Anderson coming in to score. There we go. Ryan Anderson scores. And it's all tied up at one. Sachem's one, General's one. <laughs> Two and all the maybe. Oh, 
Ryan, Ryan can throw the three pointers in basketball. Let's see if he can do a long ball here in baseball. A long hit. And they walked him. We'll take that any day. Shortstop, number 11, Anthony McConey. McConey. As we're back here to the top of the order. Ryan maybe doing the DH. Maybe the second. The throw is late. The throw is late and Ryan maybe is at second base. Maybe. He's in scoring position. If a runner is at second or third, they're in scoring position. If it's a double, he'll score a run. Swing and the miss. One and one. Tied of one here at World Series. And this is a pretty interesting game so far. Whoa! Navy moves up to third. The ball hit him. The ball hit him. Second baseman, number 13. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take a hit batter. Runner at first. Pitch. Fouls it off to the screen. First and second. McConey at first. Maybe, yeah, uh, maybe he's in the second. Now maybe he's at home. And he's at home and he'll score. Oh, ho, 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 hold it. Oh, this is becoming a circus. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now they're sending him back. Catch it. Number five, Michael Howard. This is a Bennett Circus. They're going to have to put somebody in. That's your prediction. Time will tell. What Joe should say, swing at it. Ball one. Base is loaded. Ball of Satan. Oh, that hit him. That hit him. And maybe we'll score. That one will unleash the bases, and that one will reload the bases. Two to one, Saugus. <laughs> Baseball season is up for a interesting start. If you hit batters, don't cost you the game. Gotta pay the price. That happens in the big leagues. That happens. That happens in college ball. If you hit a batter like more than two times, can't let that pitcher stay in. 
If you can't throw strikes, pitcher gets tied, you gotta switch it up. Early in the game, yes. Number nine, Adam Green. Adam Green, the new pitcher for the Generals. From a team that has two cities, two towns, Hamilton and Wenham. It's a regional school. It's up in that area. I've been up that way. CJ played hockey at the Pingree rink. Nice rink. CJ Graffio, a former baseball player from the 2019 class. Thinking of him as I'm thinking about hockey. Thinking about baseball for him. Baseball, hockey, a year ago. He was a multi sports star. Kind of like some of the kids this year on this team. Multi sport players. Two and oh, two outs. Nathan Ng. Let's see if Ng can heat up even more at the plate. McConey is ready to go. Ball four, and that will bring in a run. Three to one. Braden Viella. RBIs and maybe a walk. That's an effort strike. What we're gonna call Hamilton Wenham is a tardy, tardy Hamilton Wenham. Tardy, they were tardy. Yes, it's kind of. It's a warm up, I guess. How about it? We had a couple of tardy teams in the past seasons. Yeah, but if you've driven around in Massachusetts, you know. There's so many bad drivers. Everybody plays. Yeah. This has been a long inning. If Sean Murray was there, he would be like, when is this going to end? When is this going to end? Just making sure my thing was on. It is on. The pitch. Grounded. Third. Got nobody. Whoa! Wow! Wow, that was a beautiful play. To end the inning. Holy smokes! Wow, what a play there, that end the inning. Well, head to the fifth, I'm speechless. Shortstop.
Number two, William Cook. Welcome back here to the World Series. As I was talking to Mr. Gardner just a minute ago, Nathan Ng has been having a quite a pitching experience here at World Series for his first start of the 2022 campaign as relief. Here at World Series. He started the game and he let Ryan Maybe finish it off. Combined one hitter. One hitter yesterday with a 10 0 win. Yesterday. Let's see if they can make it 2 0. They beat the Reggies 10 0. That's like a make believe team, though, in a lot of sports. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nathan, oh, he's gonna let that one bobble. Oh! Yeah. Wow. Not too bad. It was a base runner they needed. Nate bobbled it right at the mound. Center fielder. Oh. It's gonna be out Number there. Three. Like his island, bro. Carl <laughs> McClintock. McClintock. What a name that is, McClintock. It's a cowboy movie. Yes, it is. That's ball one. There's a name that you'll remember for a long time, Keith. Nathan Ng. One and one. Keith Manning enjoying the game. Yeah. This has been a, a rally for the stage and this is pass inning. Brought us to the score where we are now. Three to one. You're in the top of fifth. Two and one. I am so speechless about that last out of the last inning. Oh, that's hands in the car over there. Oof. Are you able to follow the ball pretty well or no? With the sun and everything? Can you see it? Yeah, I mean, I've got it down to a science now. But it's tricky. Me and Anthony called that one. That some of those foul balls that go into the parking lot. That's line, that's a base hit. First and second now for Hamilton Wenham. Nick Frenny. Nathan had a pretty good start at relief when he first came into the game. Runner goes to third and second on stolen base. It's a close one right now. Pitch, pops it up, that one is going to the track. Get an update from the softball girls, see how they did. Parcher, pops it up, makes a catch. And he'll score it, and it's a one point game, one run game. 3 2. 3 2. And we got a couple of the girls. A couple of the girls calling him Tony. First base, 
Let it go. Hallelujah, softball. 15 to 3. Yeah. And that's an update from the girls. I think uh, oh, the win, guys. Or a loss? I gotta be a win. It has to be a win. They seem pretty happy. Grounded over the McConey. That is a great play there by Ryan Anderson. And first base, a great feed from McConey. Harrison Stern, a tongue twister. Tongue twister name. Is he a Stern Harrison? <laughs> I wonder that. Harrison Stern, or is he a Stern Harrison? Ball. The pitch rounded to Anderson. He'll run it out. That is a great effort there by Ryan Anderson to end the inning there. He worked out of the jam, and now we'll head to the bottom of the fifth. We get a ball game here. Welcome back here to World Series. Imagine if he played ACDC songs. I'll be rocking it out. Yeah, they would. Drew Garner, the batter. <laughs> Thinking of Elkhart uh, with the ACDC. A little bit of Hell's Bells. <laughs> one and one. Pitch, swing and miss. Two and two. Whoa, that's a good crack at it there. That's on number one, a ground out there. Number 12. Drew Garner ground First out. Base, Ryan Anderson. Here comes Anderson. Now let's see what Ryan can do here. Whoa. Watch out. Moved his head just in time. Nick said he was looking for a reason earlier. Just having fun. Like when that F6 tech game we were talking about. They got mad and they threw the ball and it was all. That was like three seasons ago. That was back in 2019. Yeah. It was a playoff game. These days just, they just fly by now, Nick, you know? It was a playoff Enjoy game. Them while they last. Yes. It was three seasons ago. It was a playoff game. 
we hosted it. We played Essex Tech. And we won in, in extra innings. And it just got crazy at the end. <laughs> Ball four. Number ten. He did a good job Anthony running the pitcher there. Kikolini. That was a good walk. Ryan Anderson yeah, at that first base. Kikolini oh. will step in. Oh, one. I would find some of them over. I don't think that's going to stop him. He got to the base. He, he just faked that throw. Unless Joe tells him no. Up high. That's a ball, one and one. Good kid, man. But there's so many, so many. Do they run all the time? Do they? Yeah. I mean, I run on Indian Blues. Throw over the first. He's safe at first. I know if I'd, I'd watch the catch on the other team, if he had a bag on him, I'd definitely be running out there. With all my fast guys, you know. Anyone who's the pitch. Oh, no. High and foul. Oh, they hit a car there. Oh, oh. Oh. Watch out. Watch out in the pocket lot there. There's a spot open here in the front. Timing is everything. I called it first. I called me Anthony called it first and then I I went. I watched a car get hit, the guy moved it and it got hit again. Oh <laughs> and I was like, yo, I'll never park here at the field ever again. That one's a pop up out there. And he's gonna get back to there the first base. Here comes Maybe. With two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. 3 2 ball game. It's a ball game. 0 oh 1 to Maybe. Fouls it off. That's a good fight for that. That's a that's a that's a that's a good battle with the foul ball said by Ryan Mead. Oh and two. Throw the first. That ends the inning. Score remains same. 3 2. We'll head to the sixth. Welcome back here the World Series Park. I got Not sure if you can hear me. I can hear you. No, we're here in the top of the sixth. I could have named Nicole Anthony McConey for the time being for the rest of the season when we cover him. Wayne until he comes up. <coughs> Wayne until he makes a play. One and one. 
McCauley, you will like this name that I'm gonna call you. If you call me Graf, I got a name for you. Pops it up foul, and that one is visible to see. And that goes into the trail, the track. The running track, where Keith does his laps. That one's going to the same location. As is a righty hitter. A righty hitter seems to hit foul balls towards the track and left the hitters seeing the hit foul balls towards the parking lot. The pitch. That one is high and foul. Full count. Mm -hmm. Nathan, see if he can close it. Oh! Yeah, Nathan. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Back to the he got him. The left field. There's one out. Number 10, Tomas Day. <laughs> Jomash Day. Jomash Day. <laughs> That's a ball. I believe it's one and one at the moment. Two and one. Pops it up and foul, and that one's gonna land into this. That one's gonna land right into the track. Fouls it off. Two and two. The pitch. And he got him there. That's two down. That's two outs. The left fielder. Number six, Kate Fitzgibbons. Big man Nate. Captain Nate. He's leading the ship. Oh, Nathan. Ball on. Two and oh. The pitch. That's a strike. Oh, oh, yeah. You can hear, can, you can hear that snap him all the way over here. Oh, he's swollen. Oh, another one. Catcher's hand is probably going to be swollen after that. Two and two. That's two of them there. Full count. Oh, 
and yeah. there we go. Yeah. Nathan, Nathan got the job done. Let's see if the Satans can extend the lead here in the bottom half. That's coming up. Welcome back, Halo I'll World Series. Anthony McConey. McConey. Howie. Good to see you, buddy. AKA. I'll talk to you. AKA. The Tony. How are you guys? Are you gonna run? Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, I'll talk to you. Good soon. to see you, Keith. I'll be up to another game soon. Keith Manning. Good job, man. Appreciate it, Keith, and uh, well, have a good one. Keith Manning spent like about three and a half innings with us. Now it's getting close to the end of the game. And now it's up now for her. Yeah, I think the beat down coming Second base, number 13, Cam Sirocco. Cam Sirocco with the Tony at first. Kind of like Elcock calls Kevin Andrews the Andy. I'm going to call Anthony McConey the Tony. <laughs> Thanks to the softball girls for calling them Tony. Ooh. Ooh. I got him. I got him. I got him. Now the Tony McConey will go to second. Michael Howard. Now let's see what Michael can do here. Here's the pitch. Whoa! That almost hit him as well. Yeah, the, the lean over and he had to lean over. That one goes to the screen. Nathan Ng waits on deck. Satan's got base runners on. This is a close game so far at this point. Fouls it off on the bunt. Three two game. One and two to count. The pitch. Two and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And he strikes out. Two down here in the bottom of six. The pitcher, number 27, Nathan Inch. They may have, they might be one out, but no, let's, we'll, we'll keep it at one out. Nathan Ng, the batter. One ball and no strikes to count. Nathan Ng doing a great job pitching. Let's see if he can do, see what he can do here. Batting, one and one. Nathan Ng in his last two times at bat, 
He walked twice. Strike two. Pitch to Ng. Got a piece of it. That's a foul ball. He was just making sure with the umpire that was a foul ball, and he said, yeah, it's a foul ball. Up high. Two and two to count. Pitch. Full count now. Three and two to count. To Nathan Ng. One out. Pitch. That one's lined in there for Vincent. The big man swinging the bat. He brings in one. And he's going to send out a pinch runner. Sean O'Rourke will come out. Number nine, Braden Fayel. Braden Fiella will step in. Now let's see what Braden can do here. That's a strike. Still one out here in the inning. One and one. Two and one. The bus is probably looking at the time and said, oh, we need to come back and pick up the players. The bus got the call, dude. It's about to be over in general. Dude. For the, the Hamilton Wenham general team. That's a strike. Two and two. As a ball. Sirocco at third base. And O'Rourke, the pitch, the pinch runner at first base. That one's a grounder. And a foul ball. I will have an, an Elkhart kind of reaction if Braden Paella gets a big hit here. Because I know Braden Paella. Oh! He got him. Two down. Great kid. Job done there. Next game. Now let's see what Drew can do. Drew Rogers. Drew Gardner, the pitch, ball one, that's one and oh. Me and Anthony are quite excited for the uh, hockey banquet coming up in a week. Get to see the hockey boys, get to see Alcott and Murray, have some laughters, enjoy. I'm excited as always. There he goes, Drew. This kid's character. Loved this kid. Drew. Number 12, Ryan 
Anderson. Here comes Ryan Anderson. Drew Gardner at first. Base is loaded. Cam Sirocco's ready to go. One and one. One and one to count. Watch out there. Pitch. That's a ball. Two and one with two outs. Four two ball game. Swing and a miss. Two and two. All the all the Sajans had to do if they go to the top of the seventh is to strike the batters out. Full count. The coach says we're moving. We're moving. <laughs> That's a foul ball. They're not moving yet. They're not moving yet. They have to move back to their previous base. I want to see Brian Anson get on base. And he will. That a boy. Run scores, and there we go. That's a celebration I like to see. That little shoulder to shoulder jump. Five to two. All that madness brought out the coach for Hamilton Wedham to, to make a change. Oh, they're going to keep the same reliever in. Good, good yeah, they, they're going to leave him in. He didn't struggle with the last bat. So, I mean, yeah. It's a pitch. Strike. He probably just, just went out there, have a little conversation, calm down. And there's a ball. That was that pitch. That's ball two, two and oh. That's strike. Two and one to Ciccolini. To a chick. The son of Jeff Ciccolini. Selectman. Selectman Ciccolini. As one of the board of selectmen alongside Cogliano. And A Chick goes to the, the bag. And there's another run. He's left both those pitches. He left both those pitches. Five bad is too many both yeah. times. He's, so learning the, the, he's learning the lesson today. The four kids ran out of steam. Yeah. I mean, Saugus, Saugus get three hits today. Yeah. They're going to have 12, 14 walks, including you know, maybe eight walks and seven hits bad. Exactly. So. A lot of information from this. Yeah, that, that was not going to last. A lot of information about what's going on here. Seeing three hits and at least wall walks. A couple of hit batters. Like they walk one and they shook and everyone after the walk. 
It's a very tough outing for Hamilton Wenham. He he was giving them. He was giving that team what that star pitcher wanted. Like every team, if he wants to have a good outing, they gave him a good outing. He gave him a good outing for a couple innings. And then he slowed down. He struggled. And then they brought a new pitcher. New pitcher had a pretty good couple innings. Then he slowed down. It's not just high school baseball you see that. You see that in MLB, minor leagues, college ball, a whole bunch of baseball. Even AAU, select baseball, town league. The designated hitter, number seven, Ryan Maybe. Ryan Maybe is the batter and he'll face a new face on the mound for the Generals. For the team who is trailing by four. The pitch has a strike. The pitch. That one's lying in there, base hit. Here comes run one. Here comes two innocents in the score. McCauley stops the third. Ryan maybe with a big hit of the game. And Anthony Ciccolini is red hot. He's red hot. He's fired up. Now you can tell he wants to score. Oh, this kid's a character. I also love this kid here, Anthony Ciccolini. He brings the energy to this team. When he says, let's go, it kind of reminds me of a baseball Jason Karen. Baseball Jason Karen. With, a, with, with the fire it up. Oh, whoa, oh my, what a catch. He just dove and he caught it. He just saved his team like 10 runs. What a catch. This team can do a really impressive job out on the field. Three more outs, two more outs. We'll be back for the seventh, and that's winning time. It's winning time. Now that number four, Aiden Clark. Welcome back here to World Series. Aiden Clark, the lead off here in the top of the seven. The Sachems only need three outs to co to complete this game here, World Series, in their home opener. And Hamilton Wenham needs a miracle. <laughs> We don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> Not off to a good step, one. <laughs> Strike one. And um, Anthony's got some plans after this game for eight. Photo day chow. What is that? Photo day chow. Photo day chow. Logo. Logo? Bogo. Oh, Bogo day. Bogo. F-O-G. Bogo. Ah. That's not where you want to start the end. I don't think he. No, it went by him. Shortstop. Number two, William Cook. Yeah, 
And now, runner at first. That's a strike. And then, why are you saying that? Fogo Day. Day. Ciao. Fogo. It's a steakhouse in Burlington. Brazilian. Eight o'clock reservations. Hopefully, this game can get done for him to go there. Very light outfit today. I should have <laughs> should, 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 you know? should, should, uh, should brought on a jacket like Alcott. Should have brought a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> brought on a blanket like Sean. Should have brought my Snuggie. You got a Snuggie? <laughs> should have, um, should have built on. Uh, Bill, Bob should per, build a warm room. Uh, Whoa, watch out! <laughs> I guess uh, both of us had a little bit of the trip trips. Uh. Oh, that's close. Baseball season is off to an awesome start so far on <laughs> in commentary. It's going to be a good time. It'll be a very good time with guests on air. When that sun goes down, it's going to drop like 20 degrees and then die. And imagine if Bob plays until dark. It's like t-shirt thickness, bro. And imagine if Bob plays until dark. If it gets dark, the, the players will say, where are the lights? They pour, they, they, they install lights. <laughs> We're gonna be here all night. This game, this, this ending, this, this ending is gonna, End. Two bases on, two runners on for Hamilton Wenham. That's a ball. Triple play. I don't know if this defense can do that. <laughs> Maybe, maybe an expert, maybe an expert like Jimmy, Junior or Senior will know that. I'll, I'll settle for a double play then. Double play would sound better. Maybe this team could do a double play. At this point, I don't know at this point. Maybe if there's a runner at second, might be able to Strand the runner a second, get the runner at first for a double play there. Should fake the throw to third and make it look like he like, missed it, and then run back and tag him. That'll, that that could be another uh, possibility there. That's a strike, and it's two and two. Beautiful sunset either way. It is a beautiful sunset here at the ballpark. People enjoying a beautiful evening here at World Series Park. Despite it being a little on the cool side. Whoa, watch out. That is heading into the parking lot. Boom. That just bounced onto the street and onto someone's guy. It should be all right, though. That wasn't too bad. It, it, just, it just made a little bounce on it. It had a bounce before I hit it. That's, that saved it. 
The car is saved. Oh! Oh, no! 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 Wow! Ryan Anderson. Wow, that's an error. But he got the runner at second base, and that scored two runs as a generals. Catch. They messed that up a little bit. One. Nick Frenny. Here comes Frenny. Could I call this like a Buster Posey kind of guy? A Buster Posey kind of batter because he has that low batting stance, like uh, like his bat facing down over his shoulder. Anthony, look at this. Watch how watch his batting stance. Does it remind me of a uh, Buster Posey a little bit, or Chris Bryant? <laughs> Mr. Buster Posey like player strikes out. <laughs> That's a little excitement for Alcott then, because Alcott brought up a couple of NHL players during the hockey. Hello, Pete Alonso. Oh. Maybe this one could be like a Pete Alonso here. Alcott called uh, Jason Karen like a mini DeBrusque. <laughs> Jason Karen like a messy mini Jake DeBrusque. Nathan Ng is kind of like a Shohei Otani. And there we go, it's a Satan win. And they'll end it. Final score. Saugus eight. Hamilton win him four. Look at Bob, he's already got the sign off. He's ready to go. And they'll end it here at World Series Park. Thank you for Benna. Thank you for everyone for stopping by. And uh, from here on out for today's game, uh, Nick Raffio, Anthony Michella, and everyone who joined in, thank you. And we'll see you at the next event that we cover. Either me, him, or us together. And uh, we'll show the boys one more time before we sign off. As they do their laps. And we'll see you guys next time.